Hello. It's good to see you. I'm just laughing at this thing. Today we are back with this big, great big bag of jewelry from Goodwill. What you're looking at, this is like just the tip of the iceberg. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Just the, just the tip. And there's, there's so much in this bag. It's just enormous and it just, it goes so far back. It takes up like a third of my table. But these, these big bags are always a lot of fun because you just never know. There's so much in here that you can't see until you start just examining everything because you just have to kind of get into it to see what all is in there. So we're just going to start looking at everything. Look at this. I don't know why this makes me laugh. It's just, it's, it's very creative. Ooh, isn't it pretty like that? Ooh, look at that. It's like a little rainbow. These are pull tabs off of cans of, like, soda cans. They're little pull tabs. And somebody took a blue ribbon and ran them through. And this ribbon is green, but it has a little, it has, like, little purple flowers on it. And then, see, they have the ribbons tied together right there. And I guess it's like a bracelet for a tiny person. It could be like a napkin ring. You can make, this would make a cute little napkin ring. I don't know why. It was just sitting there and it just made me smile. I like to see little creative things like that. This is cool. <laughs> it's very shiny. Look at it. Look at all these little pop tops. If you're my age, you remember when, when drink cans were made out of that thicker aluminum and they had the pop top that you pull off the top? The little pull tab? I remember that. <laughs> Those haven't been around in a long time. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it's an earring. Oh, I would have loved this earring when I was a kid. Look at this. I still love it. I could so easily convert that to a clip-on earring. Look at these pieces. There are lots of pieces, but they're super lightweight, so this earring, just like it weighs basically nothing. It's super light. This is a very fun little earring. See, here's the post right up here. I think I'm going to hang on to that. And if we find the other one, I can convert them to clip-ons. I should do another video where we convert clip uh, pierced earrings like this to clip-ons. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Um, if you search my channel for convert earrings or something like that. I've, I've done four or five of them already, but it's been a long time since we did a video converting earrings to clip-ons. Just let me know in the comments if you would like to see another one. I think that could be fun. Um, actually, right now I do have several pairs of clip-on earrings that I need to convert, and I, they've just been sitting in a jewelry box, and I haven't done it. So we could totally do that, but, you know, if you don't want to. We don't have to. It's just a thought. But if you'd like to see that, just let me know. I think I'm going to hang on to that one for real. If I find the other one, I'll make a pair out of them. Now here we have, this is a little sproinky thing. And it's tangled, it's tangled in a bangle. We have a bangle tangle. Look at this bangle. It's yellow. I have a nail polish that's almost exactly this shade of yellow. I do. It's plastic. I wish I had it like a nickel for every bangle I have found in these bags. I could have the world's most amazing bangle collection if I liked bangles. I have found hundreds of bangles. This one's really cool. Like, I think that's some sort of resin, but it's heavy. It almost feels like it would be fragile, like it's made out of glass or something. But look at the beautiful color. I really do like the color of it. That's pretty. Um, and this one, okay, so here this one has little seed beads on it. And we also have beads that are made out of seashells. That's what these are, right here. And these little pieces. Let's see, it's, it's like a curly cue. And you just wrap it around your wrist. And looks like a multi-layered bracelet, which basically, I guess it is. Here we have a little cross that's made out of 
um, plastic stuff. I remember making little crafts with this stuff. I don't remember where. I'm thinking it was in like middle school or something. But we also have these little clear multifaceted uh, plastic beads. And it has a purple little, th little ribbon up here. Like this might have been a Christmas ornament or something. It's too thick to be a bookmark because see you have these beads on both sides. That make a pretty little ornament though, like our little Christmas ornament. I don't know. Oh, some more bangles. Here, here we have a solid black plastic bangle. It's cylindrical. A lot of them are flat on the underside. This one is rounded, so it's just like a cylinder. It's very cool. Lots and lots of bangles. Here's another one. Oh, this one's interesting. Oh, these are magnetic. I was trying to figure out. I thought it was, I thought it was some sort of decoration. I was trying to, like it was a clasp or something, which it is a clasp, but not for this bangle. This bangle is made of metal and it is coated in pink enamel. So you know it's it's metal because these this um these clasps are meta um, not metallic magnetic and they are attracted to the bangle like that. You don't see you don't see metal bangles very often. Usually, if you see a bangle like this, it's plastic. This one's metal. That's very interesting. How about that. Okay, now right here, again, we have these two clasps. Oh, that's interesting. Look, it has two metallic, I keep wanting to say metallic, magnetic bits. On either side, we have these medium-sized gold lobster claw clasps. So this would be really nice, and I think about this a lot with my mother who has uh, severe arthritis. She can't, she's lost most of the flexibility in her fingers and thumbs and can't, she really struggles with clasps on necklaces. Something like this would be great because you could take these two lobster claw clasps and attach it to either end of the necklace and then when you're ready to put it on, you just take the little, the little magnetic ends and put them together and that way you don't have to mess the clasp. When you're ready to take it off, you just pull it apart. This one is the same, except that the magnetic part is right here. It's just like a little, it makes a little ball in silver. And it has small to medium sized silver lobster claw clasps. Just like that. And I bet that's exactly what these are for. To make it easier to fasten and unfasten necklaces. I bet that's what they're for. Because it's not really an extension. I mean, it's going to make it like that much longer. There are necklace extenders, but I don't think that's what these are. That's actually cool. I would keep them out for my mom, but she doesn't really wear jewelry anymore. So I don't think she needs them. Now, this is a bracelet. It's not stretchy at all. It's made with these little pony beads and they're plastic. These blue ones are pretty. We have these like dark midnight blue colored beads here and here. These are like the colors of the Carolina Panthers. The blue and the black makes me think of that. And then we have some white ones here. It's mostly these black plastic ones. And it's on a piece of cord that is tied together here, but it's not stretchy at all. Um, and we have, oh wow, we have a lot of necklaces. It looks like we have quite a few plastic necklaces. Look at this choker. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I love this. So you have this mesh piece of ribbon here. It's about an inch wide. And then attached to that, we have all of, we have seed beads and these little cylindrical beads. They're sewn onto the ribbon in a chevron shape. That's beautiful. And down here, this end, 
we have a small silver lobster claw clasp. See what you could do is, if you have trouble attaching clasps, you're just going to have to do this necklace once. You take this lobster claw clasp and attach it to this one. And then you come down to the adjustable chain. And it looks like we have about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. You take the other half of the lobster claw clasp, attach it there, or wherever you want to put it on the adjustable chain. And then you can just use this when you want to put it on or take it off. You have the little thing here that you can add to it. Of course, I imagine you would about need one for every necklace unless you wanted to do it and undo it, which kind of defeats the purpose. But anyway, this, this choker is gorgeous. I love this. Look at that. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's in perfect condition. There's like nothing wrong with it. A lot of times when you find chokers in these bags, they're damaged somehow, but this one looks like brand new. It's gorgeous, but I'm not going to keep it. I have a collection of chokers kind of like that, but I find I don't really ever wear them, so I'm kind of slowly getting rid of them because I just, I don't know, I just don't wear them anymore. The older you get, the less good necklaces like that look on you. <laughs> so I just don't, I don't wear them that much anymore. Now here we have a really pretty pearl necklace. Look at this. It looks like it originally had four strands of these faux pearls. They're not super shiny. They're, they're kind of, they have like a matte finish to them almost, or a satiny finish. We also have these little clear, beautiful, multifaceted beads in here. These are little glass beads and they are so shiny how shiny they are. They're gorgeous. Now down here we have quite a bit of adjustable chain. That's at least three inches of adjustable chain. And we are, oh no, hold on. Down here you can see the four strands of these pretty pearls. And we have a hook. It's like a shepherd's hook for the clasp. And you come on down this way and you can see where this strand has detached from this part. Yeah. So, yeah, so this part just hooks in there. But it looks like this little piece here is broken. So you can't just hook it back in there. It looks like there was a piece in there that is no longer there. That's a bummer. It would actually be a very easy fix, though. It's really pretty. I like it. It's, it's really pretty. Okay. Now these... Oh, aren't these beads pretty? Oh, I love it. This actually... I'm wearing a shirt right now that is exactly the same color as these beads. It would go perfectly... It goes perfectly with the shirt I'm wearing. That's crazy. It's sort of a lavender color. These are plastic beads, but they have kind of a pearly finish to them. They're really pretty. Oh, wow. We have two beads fused together right here. It's sort of wound up in a bunch of other stuff. Oh my goodness. What is this? There's a jingle bell in there, too. I think we're gonna have an avalanche. What have I done? Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. This is all one necklace. It's beautiful. It's the exact same color as my top. That is so cool. I'd have to double it or triple it to wear it because it's so long. Look at that. It's like opera length. Wow. The only problem is the top I'm wearing is one I wear to work out and I don't really need a necklace like this to go to 
an exercise class. I think it would get in the way. I can't imagine wearing this while trying to do burpees or something. It would hit me in the face. Try to do jumping jacks. That'd be funny. It's beautiful though. These beads are just wow. Look at these beads. Oh, they're gorgeous. There's no clasp. This is just a very long plastic beaded necklace. It is pretty. It's very pretty. Now, most of the things I find in these bags, I don't keep. I donate them back to a whole circuit of thrift shops and charity shops around Greensboro. I don't, I don't keep most of the stuff because I don't have anywhere to put it. We go through lots of jewelry. So here's another one of these little bangles. It has kind of a glassy feel to it, but it's green. It's like an iridescent green. It reminds me of part of the color on the back of a Japanese beetle. Like they have that shimmery, like an oil slick look to their wing casings, the wing cover. Kind of reminds me of that. Oh my goodness. All the bees and the hornets and everything are out and about right now. Look at this. This is a decent sized crack bag and it has a bracelet in it. It has silver glitter. I bet this is a stretchy bracelet. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how sparkly it is. Wow. Look at all that silver glitter. It's beautiful. And it is stretchy, but it's kind of noisy when you stretch it on the inside. There are two pieces of elastic in there. It's really pretty. It's a thin metal. These pieces that make it up, it's like a thin metal. And some of them have this pretty glitter on them. That's nice. And a nice little crack bag too. Okay. This is another multi-stranded necklace. Look at this. These look like necklaces from the 80s. They make me think of necklaces that I recall seeing people wear back in the 80s. Look at this. Now we have different types of beads on here. We have these oval beads and they're kind of a, they're red, but they're like a pinkish red almost. And they have this little bit here that looks like metal, but it's not. And then we have these up here that are multifaceted. In between them, we have clear glass uh, seed beads. Back towards this part, the beads get smaller. And then we have about two and a half inches of adjustable chain with the little beads. And then we have this clasp again that's like a little shepherd's hook that you are just going to hook to the adjustable chain. One of these lengths is longer than the other. I like the length of this necklace. This is, this is pretty much the, the length that I wear most of the time. It's not super short, but it's not super long either. I really like that. It looks good with a wide variety of necklines. It, it's very versatile. Yeah, that, that, this necklace to me is kind of makes me think of the 80s. It's probably when it was made. We do have more, longer, ooh, this is, this is multi-stranded, look. You can see here it's collected together like a, like an octopus or a, it's like a jellyfish, kind of. It has, look at these long pieces coming down. What is on this card? Oh, it's, it's earrings. We have from Living Free, Ministries, a pair of pink, sort of a fuchsia color, little metal earrings. They were 99 cents. Now when I convert pierced earrings to clip-on, typically I don't do this kind. You can, but for the way I like to do it, it doesn't really work so well with this type of earring. So if we convert earrings, typically it's going to be more like a long dangly earring because 
I really prefer this kind of earring anyway. I mean, this is typically, unless I'm wearing hoops, I like to, I wear hoops. I have a lot of hoop earrings, different sizes and stuff. If I'm not wearing hoops, I'm usually wearing something kind of like that. Because I went through a period of time in my adult life where it, um, I couldn't wear, really wear jewelry and um, that's a long story, but once I got out of that, I took great pleasure in collecting all the long, dangly, crazy earrings and all the jewelry that makes me happy and I wear it whenever I want and I will never take it for granted again. So I have lots of crazy, long, dangly earrings, and I love to wear them. But this kind, I wouldn't be converting earrings like that. Because it's just, it doesn't really work with the kind of um, clip-on earrings that I use. Here we have another bangle. This is just like the yellow one we saw earlier. I, yeah, I think it's exactly the same. It's not the same one, but it looks like it. We have these green multifaceted beads. Aren't they pretty? It's kind of like it reminds me of that avocado green that was so popular in the 70s, along with that orange, like you saw that green and that orange on, and brown on everything. Oh my goodness. When I was growing up, we had a rotary phone that was this color. It was like that av avocado green. <laughs> oh yeah. And here we have a thing in a bag. Ooh, I like the hair. Look at that. Is this like a little worry doll or something? What is this? I don't know. Wild women. Laughter is a great blessing in life, one to be cultivated and expressed often. Laughter is good for your heart and your soul. It can be a great gift to others. Okay, yeah, yeah, but I bring you, in, the, in celebration of one of God's greatest gifts, the gift of laughter, I bring you wild women. Ooh la la jewelry from Gaithersburg, Maryland. Do not expose to direct sunlight or extreme temperatures. I guess this is a wild woman. It's a pin. Look, it has a little pin on the back, so it's like a little... That's cute, and our little legs are attached down here. <laughs> That's a wild woman, all right. I'm gonna put it back in there. Okay. I don't really wear pins. I always, I always forget to take them off, and then they get run through the washing machine, and it. <laughs> I have destroyed pins. I don't mean to. I just forget to take them off. Here we have. Jingle balls. It's an earring. Can you imagine wearing a pair of earrings that's going to jingle jangle right next to your ear every time you move? I'm not surprised they ended up in a Goodwill bag. Ugh, that dropped me crazy. And we have a whole clump of necklaces right here. Golly, let's see. We have a paracord bracelet. It looks like it was worn quite a bit. It's kind of dirty. Yeah, it's kind of hard to clean these things up. Boy, it is tight too. Whoever made this, boy, they made it tight as hard as a rock. My goodness. Somebody did a good job on that one. That thing's not going anywhere. And you see it has the pink plastic Fastex buckle. Um. Here we have a really, it's like an opera length pearl necklace. It's wound up. There it is. This is like a 30 inch, easily a 30 inch necklace. And it has no adjustable chain, but it does have a little gold round clasp right there. Look at this. pretty. It's very lightweight. These are very inexpensive plastic pearls, but they're in surprisingly good shape. I don't think this was worn much. Okay, and maybe I should get the 
bangles out. We have, oh, this is a wooden bangle. Look at that. It's a round, it's like a cylindrical wooden bangle and a little aluminum bangle. These get warped. It's kind of a peach color and the way it's cut on the sides, it makes it look like little rhinestones, but it's actually just the way the bangle is cut that makes it look shiny like that. Um, we have another one. Here's another one of these yellow bangles. It's wound up in this thing. See? Now we have, I think we have three of these now. Yep, we sure do. Here, I, I got the other two out. Look, we have three of the same bangle. That's pretty. I like it. I really like the colors of this. This is another one of those little sproingy bracelets, but look. These are little pieces of seashell that have been dyed, and I love the combination. You have some that are a fuchsia color, and some that are kind of a copper color. And they're all mixed up in here together. I love it. Oh, it's so pretty together. Look at that. That's so pretty. See, this is just all one piece like that. Um, gosh, we have so many things. Here we have some more of these aluminum bangles. There's one. There's one. I see more. What is that? There's one. Here's a thing. It's like a tiny... That's like a little bracelet for a baby. That may be exactly what that is. It's very, yeah, it looks like it's the size of a like a little baby. I'm sure it won't fit me. Let's see. Good golly, I reckon. Look at all that. We have here a cool leather bracelet. Oh, I like it. See, it's cut here like that. And then you have this loop right here that goes up over the button like a little close closure, little clasp thingy. It doesn't appear to be adjustable. You just put it over like that. Yeah, that's that's some thick leather right there. Wow. That's pretty. A little bit big though. Yeah. Too big. It's cool though, I like it. And we have three pretty aluminum bangles. They're kind of pastel colors. We have a gold one, sort of a copper one, and a green one. I find lots of these in these bags too. Lots of those little bangles. Oh, look at this. Here we have, this is a cord, it's like I don't know, flexible coated nylon cord. And we have a beautiful, oh, this pendant is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I am a sucker for these necklaces. I have so many of these. I love it. It has blue iridescent rhinestones inside the pendant. Ooh, I am tempted. It has a small lobster claw clasp and about an inch and a half of adjustable chain. That's, that's actually really pretty. <laughs> oh, I don't need it, but I'm going to keep it because that is so pretty. I love that pendant. And I, I have several necklaces made out of this material right here. It's just like a plastic cord. It's, it's stretchy. I mean, it's not stretchy, but it's flexible. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I don't need it, but I want it, so I'm going to keep it. Let's see. Now, this necklace has a little red ribbon stuck to it. This one is uh, multi-stranded as well. I think this must have been somebody's Meemaw's necklace collection or something. <laughs> I bet you these vintage well, 80s necklaces. I bet they all came from the same person. This one is nice. It has three strands. 
and about two inches of adjustable chain. And again, it has the little shepherd's hook back here. And you put it where you want it. And these strands are different lengths, as you can see. This is really pretty. It's kind of like a tangerine color. It's very pretty. It looks like something that one of the ladies in Edward Scissorhands would have worn, like one of the neighborhood ladies or something. I don't know. It just does. I don't know why it makes me think of that, but it does. Okay, we have time for one more thing before we have to go for today. How about we look at this? Look at these enormous, oh, these enormous beads. These are wooden beads. Good grief, how long is this thing? <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, it's, oh, it's paparazzi. We haven't seen any paparazzi jewelry in a bit. Do you, I don't know if you ever saw that one video where we found that I had this one uh, Goodwill bag that had a bunch of this paparazzi stuff in it. And there was one necklace in there. I couldn't find anything good to say about it. I can usually find something good to say about just about anything. This one necklace, I'm not kidding. It looks like it was made out of globs of like mucus or something. It was like these greenish globs. Like if you took the characters from the Mucinex commercial and made them into beads. That's what it looked like. It was the ugliest <laughs> necklace I've ever seen. Oh, it was so bad. This one's pretty though. Look at look at all these wooden beads. I love the color. I love this color blue. It's beautiful. Look at that. And it comes down to here. We have one big blue ball. And that's the focal point is the blue ball. Back here we have smaller wooden beads. And attached to that we have matching earrings. Two, you get two swinging blue balls to go with your big ball. So you end up with a total of three balls. You know, I knew a guy that had three balls. I never got to see them and I hope they weren't like these, but I heard about them. It was an awkward conversation. I didn't really know how to respond to that, but it was just one of those moments in conversation where you really just kind of have to stand there and let it die. Like you don't want to add to it. You just want to let it die because it's, you know, it's the humane thing to do because there's just no saving that section of the conversation. So you just let it die. That's what I did with the three balls comment. But yeah, I knew a guy with three balls, but I didn't see him. I just heard about him. I, do, do they, I don't know, do they still make paparazzi stuff like this? Because I don't know. I know I went through a period of time where it seemed like every female I knew was selling this stuff. And I got invited to so many little, like, parties or whatever. I never went to any because I just, I don't like stuff like that. But it seemed like everybody I knew was selling this stuff. Because I remember seeing this logo on the back of so many hatchbacks <laughs> back in the day. Like, what was it like? 2005 or something. I don't know. It was, it was a while ago. Do they, do they still make this stuff? I could look it up, but I'm lazy. I'm just wondering. This is one of the prettier paparazzi necklaces I've seen. I mean, several, you know, they're, it's not that they're all ugly. They're not, but this one, I like this one. It's a little long for me. But again, I don't normally wear necklaces this long, but it's, it's still pretty. I like the color of the beads. That's really nice. But yeah, this is going to be our special piece to end on today. Isn't it nice? Look at it. It's so lovely. It's, yeah. Blue balls. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these cool things. And there's going to be more. There's still a lot in this bag that we haven't looked at yet. And we're going to come back and look at some more next time. Thank you so much for being here. I really hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you again soon.